Hey everybody, I'm Kelly Finglass and I am helping host the Dallas Cowboys Cheerleaders Little Series on Women's History Month and I am joined today by two of my absolute favorites, career favorites, Tandra and Leslie and they are here representing and we're going to reflect on the 90s. So welcome Tandra and Leslie. <laughs> Hi. Hi Kelly. So all right, just to get in perspective because I, I, I have to go back to the squad photos so <laughs> Get me, make me honest here, Tandra. Your rookie year was ninety. It was ninety, and then ninety one, and then Leslie, you came in ninety three, ninety three, and four, mm -hmm. and five, and six. Correct. And yes. Tandra was here five of those years. So here is y'all's collection, um, and I have to tell you one thing right off the bat, Leslie. I think <laughs> oh, you're the. No. I think you're the only person, because normally, for those of us that had tenure and not tenure we started on the back row and then you make it down to closer to the front the middle and then you might make the front row of a squad photo maybe leslie is in the front her rookie year one Ooh. year two she's on the front yes. year three she's on the front and year four front yes. I think you were the only, besides maybe Judy Trammell, which I'm going to pick on her next. I think you're the only person I know that was the front row for four years. What? How did how did that happen? I, I was a know. director and don't even remember that. Um, but I think Judy actually places us, doesn't she? Kind of, yeah. yeah. She draws little she does. circles. Does and, she still do it? Yes, she does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She still do it? She does. And then Tandra, of course, you started in 90. So my first year as director was 91. So... Both of y'all are extremely special to me because my experience, I mean, y'all are like my first class, but I was, we were all kind of learning together. That's right. Making mistakes together, learning together, just doing crazy things. So, but Tandra, I very clearly, do you remember this gold hideous and shiny And this background? is when we did our own hair and makeup well, squad photos too. Yes. And your, your hair, by the way, <laughs> yeah, Tandra, that's true. Is, we did. is famously full and that was one of my questions was what in god's name's hairspray were we using in the 90s with y'all because it it was explosions of hair Aqu aquanet <laughs> i think was it final net or aquanet was it the squirt final net or no i don't remember what i was using but it was some it it was something it else. was in Glue. that it was in the green it was in a like a turquoise bottle aquanet was a it was, fuchsia s yes it was but Tandra's a um, Tandra. Let me just give you this as a reference. Oh, I, oh, I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but what's the hairspray this we just used? You, you shaper, did, shaper. She's a shaper girl. Now this this was a softer curl on you. There, there you are with Dory. So when you guys look at these pictures, remind go back to ninety Tandra and ninety three Leslie. Right? Mm -hmm. Who who was your who was your first friend on the team? And who like who was your first friend because you're just trying to survive together mine was dory and i met her at auditions and it was it was just instant friendship for all five years that right. we cheered and beyond yeah but um we were fast friends and we had some great times outside of cheerleading as well of course <laughs> yes yeah. of course how about you leslie who was I your think mine was christy van meter we Aww. sat close to each other at auditions and it sort of um, rolled into training camp. And then along with my class, which was Gigi and Kimberly Ball and Michelle Parma and um, Jill Jones, that was our that was like our core group. So and then let me get my years right. Ninety two, ninety three, ninety five. So, Tandra, you would have been in all three Super Bowls Two. We lost um, the NFC championship game to San Francisco my fifth year. So we should have gone to four straight Super Bowls, but I missed out on that third, and okay. then I retired after that. Okay. And you guys both, of course, your head coach. I mean, I've been talking to cheerleaders from the 60s who were at the Cotton Bowl, yeah. and it was the – they were – well, I wish I could show you a picture, but I'm, I'm kind of – things are unorganized here. But y'all had Coach Jimmy Johnson as your head mm -hmm. coach, right? We, I, I, we and, had, then and then Barry Switzer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it was – I mean – that was some of the best times going to the Super Bowls. I, if I, I mean, just exciting and um, and fun. Kelly, do we you were... remember <laughs> us at Texas Stadium? And, and you were probably there, Leslie. But 
you know, we were out in the elements, you know, it wasn't a, yeah. a closed it was hot, stadium. cold, rainy. And it rained, but they, the tarp was down yes. for us to practice. And do you remember the night we did the slip and slide? Yes. So after practice, we I, all yeah, ran there. to the end zones and we ran like, and we just slid <laughs> across the, I do remember the that. field. I actually think I may have been the, the ringleader. I think I started it. I was in like probably a Crescione jacket and one of those <laughs> pencil skirts and we just spontaneously did it. I'm so, sure Bruce Hardy was not happy with us. How many times? Ruining that tarp. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, to paint the picture for people that are listening, at Texas Stadium, of course, we had our famous hole in the roof, but it was exposed to rain and snow. and But we were practicing... Yeah. rain or shine we had to and so if it was raining to protect the turf there were huge massive tarps which tandra's right in essence they were it was just a big slip and slide mm -hmm. and we finished the practice and we were like just just go for just it go. slip and slide and that was awesome I, I i'm glad you reminded me of that i forgot about that but also like talking about the elements and i don't know how i got off on this tangent but um the ice bowl mm -hmm. you know the thanksgiving day game yeah. that when we lost at the very end. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and um, us trying to dance in the ice. I know. I can't believe now that, I mean, we may, y'all may have had the luxury of wearing that tattered sweater. But we, you No, we had the puffer, it. the satin puffer The Michelin coat. man. We had yeah. the Michelin man. Which with had our, no insulation no. to speak of. And I think we had on our shorts. Yeah, and, you did. Yeah. And it was <laughs> freezing, but it was fun. That was a the great, that was a good memory. The only time we didn't have shorts on was that tragic fashion experiment that is my worst moment in what, history the, the unitard the unitard yeah. turned backwards vest over it top it off with a white cowboy hat <laughs> call it a day someone just po <laughs> who was it shelly that just posted that probably shelly or Rhonda Cates. Yes. Rhonda likes to rub that in my face <laughs> I'm gonna. I have a list of milestones on my phone. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back to y'all's years and see what some of the performance highlights were, and see if y'all can help describe them. Okay, so Tanner, your first year was ninety. Well, let's start with Harry and the Hendersons because I saw. As I remember watching you on a special. What was that like? That and Wheel of Fortune you did. What were those little TV cameo moments like? Well, for the you? Price is Right. You're right. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. But talk first about Harry and the Hendersons, because that you were a cheerleader in uniform. So you had just um, become the director. Right. And um, moved over from sales. And then you were the director. And so we went, like, this was right after you came in. So was that 91? That wasn't 91. your rookie year. I thought you were rookies. And I'm like, why are these this was, rookies? This was before we tried out again. Okay. So it was, like, right after the banquet. And then we... It was you. We headed off to L.A. And Harry and, and, and Dory. Dory. Yes. Yeah. And y'all were on Harry and the Hendersons, which I don't even know how to describe right. that show for people that never saw it. Harry was what? Like this big, gigantic... Gorilla. Monster or something? <laughs> <laughs> but it was a big deal during the it day. Was, and y'all yeah. did. And you danced. And you did... What was the dance? When the going gets tough, the tough get going. Is that what we did? Maybe. Okay. Or I know y'all did that on Phil Donahue. I think sometimes I get like no, every once did, in a while um, I get a, an eleven cent, um, you know, royalty um, check. Royalty <laughs> check. Congratulations! <laughs> I get a thirteen cent one for Doctor T and the women. <laughs> <laughs> um, nine, let's see. What year do y'all want to go back? And I'll try to tell you some of the things we we did. I'm like playing Wheel of Fortune here. Um, 1990 was Tandra's first year. Phil Donahue? No. No. That was before me. Court like right before. That was probably 89 and not 90. Really? I know Courtney Mitchell did it because she's interviewed about it. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, um, da, da, da. You, was, you did, did you do the Alaska trip? I did eight USO tours. What was your favorite destination on a USO tour? Um, Korea by far every year, all five years. And, um, I mean, three-week tours with, you know, maybe two days off in those three weeks. I mean, even when we went to Spain, Italy, and Greece, mm -hmm. and you still talk about this when I run into you, me sitting on the curb, the curb crying because I was were so tired. tired. <laughs> Why do I remember that so clearly? I don't know, but, yeah, I, I, had, ha I had it. <laughs> I don't. What do you remember? What I said to you? I remember kind of rolling my Basic, eyes, thinking, basically, you need to suck it up, suck it up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I remember when we went to London for the American Bowl, and we were on the bus doing this 
tour going all around, and um, we were all dozing off. And Kelly's like, "Don't doze off. <laughs> no, get <I> up." <laughs> she goes, "No, I didn't." You, you we, he why is, were we entertaining? Just, were we? Did no, we have but I think we. He, you just wanted. I us wanted to you be to a, see London exactly, and we were all like this because we were you know the time change the rehearsals the practice you know it just and it, it gets you when you get on that bus you're just you're out i will admit i think 90s <laughs> 90s kelly was a little more um unyielding than today's kelly but um i would do yeah. the same now with the cheerleaders if they're on their phones if they get on a bus and aren't waving goodbye and are can you imagine instantly. if we had cell phones back then? No, <laughs> I mean I remember I had a bag phone in my car. Um, yeah, my rookie year. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so y'all were a part of our first ever cheer and dance competitions, the all day Saturday, all day Sunday oh, yeah. cheer and dance competitions, which I can appreciate because my daughter is a is a or she's in college now, but it was an all star cheerleader, so. At the, now I can appreciate them. Back then, it was those were long days, but they were they long were days, especially if we had a game the next day. Yeah, yeah. The fatigue level. I mean, y'all really, y'all really did have. Y'all were very busy. Um, okay, you did the first. You did our first. Both of you. Did you do Jamaica? Our first mm -hmm. ever destination swimsuit calendar trip. Now there was a whole calendar. I think we shot it in two and a half days. I think you're right. It was Was that your rookie year last mm -hmm. week? And then she had the hibiscus flower. Yes, we had years. a graphic art. She, well, you had a natural flower, but then I had a graphic artist that added flowers <laughs> to every picture. Do you remember that? Yes. <laughs> That was a great trip, and I remember Tandra in particular because we were supposed you were supposed to be staying at a hotel and a resort. And by the time y'all got there, we'd actually changed the whole plan to where you were staying at um, a Jagger's private residence, ha or old house, or right house. And yeah. It was the owner of all the Sandals resorts, and and so I was like, oh, this will work just fine. And y'all all had your own bedrooms. Remember, we'd like kind of oh, holler thought, out the balcony. Yeah, it was awesome. I thought I was a movie star. Yeah, yeah. Fresh fruit every morning. <laughs> That's right. We had cooks. It was great. It was so amazing. Good. A lot of fun. Remember Dory and Dunn's River waterfall picture? Oh. I mean, all these pictures are coming back I to know. me. And then um, Dory was also, like, terrified of lizards. And there were a lot, a lot of, lizards. of lizards. And so she would have that, all of her bags zipped up with a lock, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I probably got one and tried to put it on her, but... <laughs> so we were talking with um, Elizabeth and Misty from our 2000 group, and they started into this stories of, do you remember when I forgot this and I forgot that? So now I'm going to ask y'all, did y'all ever forget something at a critical show or an appearance that I may or may not have known about, maybe up until the, where you had to cover for each other or... Um, Create a costume that was a makeshift costume? No, but the, you have to tell the story about the palms when we, because back then we had the big palms. Oh, God. When you cut your palms? Yes. yes. So we, the palms were heavy back then and they, they were, they were this big. You had to do. They were nothing compared to the 70s girls and I just <laughs> got off the phone with Tammy Barber wanting y'all to see how heavy their palms uh, well, were. Well, I, I think ours are equally. Yours were close. Yes, they were close. So we, um, I forgot where, where do we. We so, were at Ferris, Texas for the count. Wait. No, we were at practice and we cut them and we, we had taken chunks yeah. of the, the streamers <laughs> and cut them so that they wouldn't be as heavy, heavy. Um, for game day. But one of the games, I forgot whose um, pom yeah, pom fell, felt just, fell apart. Just just oh disintegrated, and um, yeah, the group leaders we got called in. Y'all got we uh, that next Monday night that we were supposed to have off. Yeah, we, we were in trouble. To, we were in trouble, <laughs> and then we had to buy buy your own pom buy, buy our pom own new pom poms. Mm -hmm. But you don't know this. <laughs> oh no! But we kept using. The the cut ones, we At bought practice. them, but we didn't yeah. use them. <laughs> I did not know that, and I always thought Judy Trammell had told y'all how to cut the palms. I don't know who no, started. I wish she would have, because she wanted you to you know perform at your yeah. best. I'm a traditionalist. No, mm -hmm. they're gonna dance with the same. Palms. We did have good arms though. Yes, <laughs> yeah. great great biceps and trot. <laughs> There's Judy Trammell knocking on the door. <laughs> so so y'all you used you used uh the the 
cheaters palms anyway huh maybe a few times wow yeah well now their palms are i mean they're a little, t- they're, a little cotton ball yeah it, it's a very very sm- or a lot smaller they are a lot smaller but they look they good are. times have changed so look at these two plaques are both from korea both places you both have been to one is from camp humphreys and i think that one does that say yongsan tander the wolf pack is i don't it have my glasses on oh, okay but- I'm sure it's it's not Osan. I think it's Yongsan Air Force Base. Um, or Kunsan? Yes, Kunsan. Kunsan. Yes. Um, so we just had eight cheerleaders literally land last night, and they just toured to Korea for the first time in years. How many went? Eight. And they went to – tell me if any of these sound familiar to you. Camp Humphreys, Camp well, Casey. Well – Kelly, I wasn't on show groups. I never <laughs> went on tour. <laughs> you didn't do well. No. You're in the front of I squad know. photo she, she for was way- the, the queen of appearances. So. Yeah, That's I, I right. Did. Leslie, I never, we talked about yeah, this. I never, I never actually did the tours, but um, <laughs> there's no scar tissue there. <laughs> well, then, Tandra, you know Camp Casey, Camp um, Boniface, Camp Humphreys, mm-hmm. and uh, what was my last one? Camp Walker, you've you've spent many Christmases there. Many, and we 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 tried to tell them the stories, tried to show them the pictures, but now finally, this generation of cheerleaders has finally experienced. Now they they can't, they yeah. get it to some extent. Yeah. What what's your most vivid memory of a USO tour for people that have? It's hard to kind of imagine. Yeah, and and I was thinking about this. I was. Telling somebody had asked me the other day that um, found out I was a cheerleader, and they were like, you know, what was the best part of being a cheerleader? You know, the Super Bowls, and I was like, the Super Bowls were great. I was like, but the USO tours are, you know, something that that hits home, and um, you know, you're away from your family, mm-hmm. but you go. I we were so young, and I guess we really didn't, even, or I didn't. You don't even realize. The, the effect that you're having on right. these men and women that are away from, like, the Or the Korea. sacrifice. You guys yeah. know the heartache mm-hmm. of being away from a child now, but we sure didn't then. Like, you know, because in Korea, they did, you know, a 12-month tour at right. least. And so for them to be away from their families for, you know, 12 months and just three weeks is really nothing, mm-hmm. even though we were away for Christmas and New Year's from our families. But um, it it's a – it's – it's it was I wish I could go do it again yeah as being older and really realizing and you know what I didn't even realize how dangerous it was either Mm -hmm. you know what I mean Mm -hmm. Um, yeah because you in the middle of the you went to some you went to Egypt Israel Bosnia um what and what we were on that aircraft carrier in the middle was that Forrestal USS USS Forrestal Mm -hmm. um I mean it what it what an experience right so i mean i'm you know cheerleading you know being a a dallas cowboys cheerleader changed my life you know for like for the better and um the memories are still as as heartfelt as they were back then and then um i owe a lot to the dallas cowboys organization well, and you two are two of very, I can't even think, trying to, very few that actually you cheered for the Cowboys for four and five years, and then you actually wound up having your careers with mm-hmm. the Dallas Cowboys in sales. You guys saw yes. Texas Stadium sales, AT&T, before it was AT&T. I mean. Absolutely. It was. Um, y'all had a real mm-hmm. journey. Yeah. I mean, it, and, you know, it was. You know, cheerleading by day and career with the Cowboys. I mean, cheerleading by night and, you know, working for the organization during the day. And, I mean, it's... That would it, have been an excuse to say I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It, All day yeah. work and then rehearsals at night. That might have been a chance to sit on the curb and say I'm tired. <laughs> but 24 years for me and are you at 20, I'm at 25, 25 years. That's incredible. I know. It's hard to believe. Um it's, that, it's like you and Judy, you know? Yeah. And, I mean, we kind of... It's a way of life. It, just, yeah. it has been... And we've our life. we've grown up together and then sort of, you know, had children. And, um, 
you know, been through so much together. Mm -hmm. I mean, and just in life in general, getting married, um, you know, what else? Let's see. And I don't think people realize when they'll ask me, you know, do the cheerleaders fight and squabble? I'm like, no, you, they really become best friends. Then you, you know, you're right. We've all lived a lot of life. Mm -hmm kids the ups and downs of illness. life in general right you know and who's the first person you call today when you're excited about something with yes. your own child or you're upset about something you probably it's call the girls that we cheered with mm -hmm. yeah. i would call tandra and i mean we worked side by side with each other for how many years maybe 16 17 years and we never had one disagreement we we it, it was great we always we always worked it out and you know it was fun we had fun and we and still travel together yeah that's why why it worked so well and we were successful we we're successful as cheerleaders and then as women in the business world so do you remember how I even got started working in sales for the Cowboys well so I guess you um, this was your first year as as director, right? And you asked the 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 squad, you know, does anybody want a summer job? And um, I raised my hand. A summer job. Yeah. And so um, <laughs> not a lifelong. <laughs> I went in to the ticket office and answered the telephone to take ticket orders. And that was nineteen ninety one. Ninety one. So we. Just come off a losing season. Let's see, we were one and fifteen. Jimmy Johnson's first year, then what nine and seven. So we were starting to yeah. The train was starting to go in the right mm -hmm. direction, but you probably had some a lot of resistance too for yeah. change. Well, you know, I wasn't trying to sell tickets at that time, but I was just picking up the phone and taking the orders. And, but then they offered me a job, you know, seasonally, you know, through the season, and then. 24 years later it, it just yeah it was your career yeah isn't that something i owe it to you well i owe my me to y'all because um y'all were y'all were my first and that's uh, you'll always be always be special in my heart and I, I, I really always enjoyed a close relationship with you guys and i just we all just saw each other at an event a couple weeks ago and it it gives me great joy to see everybody laughing and giggling and surviving together. There's a togetherness that's really hard to hard to explain. Mm -hmm. So, tell me, tell me more. Um, <laughs> who's who? Who's the who's the most famous celebrity you met as your years as a cheerleader that you could never have imagined? So, Tandra and well, not Keller. What? Yeah, not Keller. What was your hometown? Bedford. Bedford. And Leslie from Hollywood, Hollywood Florida. Florida. Yeah. Who did you meet as a Dallas Cowboys that you never would have thought? So I, I have a story. Um, we were at the Super Bowl in Arizona. So that would be Super Bowl 94, 95. And um, we did the Jay Leno show. So do you remember that? Yes. And so we, we got on a bus. We, we get to the show. And um, the cheerleaders perform as the, the curtains open. And... Um, and so all, I, I told my friends, I was like, watch the show. I'm, we're going to be on Jay Leno. And, I mean, he was, he, back then, he was the, it, the show, it show. For sure. And so the girls perform, and then I I got to escort him out on stage, so it was pretty fun. I remember And then they're like, oh, my that. gosh, she walked out with Jay Leno. Am I That's crazy? Cool but mm -hmm. wasn't Was that where we ran into Chris Farley? Yes. Backstage? So you yeah. were with me. We were with Chris Farley. Um the Vendela, two, the Sports Illustrated the sports cover model. Because they were um, debuting it or unveiling right. it on the show. And then um, Brett Favre was back there with us, too. Because oh, they had just, I think, lost the NFC Championship game. And then, so he was on there. So it was fun. Yeah, that was exciting. How about you, Tandra? Who was your so, favorite celebrity sighting? One of my favorites is meeting Dion Warwick at the St. Louis Telethon. Yeah. So it, that was, you know, just sitting back there with her in the green room. I, I love her. Oh, I, I can know. see I that because she's you're watching. Dion that's my kind Lana of music. Yeah. yeah, I can see that for sure. There's a great documentary about her. You should watch it. It's it's great. I'd forgotten that. I'm and the We Are the World documentary. Have you watched that? That's pretty mm -hmm. good too. That's good. Well, so speaking good. of documentaries, we've got to wrap this up. <laughs> 
we're already out of time. This, this could go all night. It could, but <laughs> I'm so glad to have y'all here. Thank you, you Kelly. Thank you. We love you. We love. I love you both of y'all. Yes, y'all are y'all so are, much. Y'all have been amazing and a huge imprint on my life, my family's life. We miss y'all. When we tell stories, I promise you, you guys are at the centerpiece of them. I Aww. hope so. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's the some good, story. the bad, the I'm yes, sure there's exactly. some stories. There's more that I don't know, but I did not know that y'all were still dancing with illegal palms. So that's that's. Oh yeah. I'm I'm gonna tell Judy that one. That's that's good to know. <laughs> Yeah, I love it. All right, well, let's do this some more. I think there's more stories. Oh, yeah, we have a lot more. <laughs> All righty. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Okay. you for joining us. Thank you.